Ciao! So camping, something that's sort of, um, I don't know, big, big on this channel. So I thought I'd just quickly touch on some of the things I take with me. So this is my very basic kit. This is the minimal kit that I can bring pretty much when I go um, camping. And it all fits in a nice roll bag, sits on the bike, and I've got my tent, sleeping bag, sleeping mats, some toiletries, and a little hammer. Now. This is not a very warm setup. This is actually quite a cool setup. This sleeping bag is a, is it Coleman's? Coleman's biker one. Very compact, look how nice and compact that is. Is it warm? Is it gonna keep you warm? Um, in English summertime, I even think this is a bit risky. Um, you have to prepare that this thing is not gonna keep you warm. These are my thermal liners from my motorbike jackets in the past. You know, you, you must have had an old one at some point by now. Um, so these basically stay my camping equipment. And uh, usually I put the trousers on. Because um, I usually get cold feet, so I usually put the trousers one on. Um, but they keep, they keep me warm in the night. Um, but if you do feel the cold, this is still a bit risky. I recommend changing this setup a little bit. And because I'm going away shortly, where the summer has kind of like ended and it gets cold at night again now. Well, yeah, it does get a bit bippy in the mornings. I've had to change my setup to my winter camping setup. Right, so this is cheap. It weighs nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, less than a kilo, less than a gram, I think. Lighter than air almost. This is a reflective foil mat. If the ground is soft enough, where I'm staying, I can just lay this one down and sleep on top of it, it's not a problem. But, in case it's not, I've got this thin inflatable mattress that I blow up. Um, it gives me about that much off the ground. Um, but sleeping on a cold bed of air is never great, so you always want to put that on top. But this sleeping bag will not do for this upcoming trip. Look at the size of this one though, this is big. This, this could easily take up half a roll bag. I mean look, this one is much warmer, is much more comfortable to sleep in at night. Um, also you've got to take into the fact my size, I'm not the biggest person in the world, so this little one is fine for me, um, but if you're a, a giant, you probably have to get a big one anyway. But I've got a big one here, now the size is a bit of a concern, because that takes up half a roll bag, but this one has got quite a good compression. So I'm going to try and compress it down as much as I can with its compression sack. Okay, so compressed it down a bit. It's now um, more of a square, but it's a little bit smaller. If I hold it back up to the original thing, it's about the same height now. But that's pretty good. A bit thicker, but it's the same height, so we don't need that. I just need to work out how to kind of put all this into a run roll bag. So, I, which I haven't done before actually, so this is going to be interesting. So I'll go through my other gear before we try that. This is a, okay, you know what? As much as I love this tent, I don't recommend you get it. I mean, I mean, it's a great tent, but remember this is all very personal and very uh, height specific. So in this tent, I can sit up in this tent. Um, I can't stand up, but I can sit up in this tent. I've got a little porch on this tent, which I love. I've had this tent many years now. I mean, I mean, quite a few years, five years. And I've used it hundreds of times. Um, not thousands, but hundreds. Um, this is the tent I took with me across, I don't know, 20 plus countries or whatever it was. Um, it's got a fly net, it's not the best in humidity, uh, when it's hot it's not the best, but it's very very waterproof which is what I go for. Very expensive, if you're just getting into camping, don't get something like this, uh, but I really like this one, it's quick and easy, two poles, and it packs down to like this two kilo bag, 
You can get smaller tents, you can get bigger tents, but it's very personal what sort of tent you should get. Um, this is something that I bought from Decathlon, um, but you can get other ones. Um, it's all personalised and stuff, so, you know, I just picked this one up. There's, there's other ones. I used to go with a big fat blue one, which is very comfortable. This is like a slightly less comfortable one, but it packs down much nicer. You get this tiny little bag and you're supposed to be able to fold it back in the thing, but I prefer to fold it like this and then just slide it down the side of my bag and it seems okay. Um, because the way my tent pegs are on this tent, they're basically big nails. They're, they're big nails. They're, like, they've got a big top. They're not like this hooked shape. So I have a multi-tool hammer here, which I wrap up in a bit of cloth. Um, just handy having a little bit of cloth around. It's just a multi-tool hammer. See, just a big multi-tool hammer. Why is it a big multi-tool hammer? Because I like to have multiple, has to have multiple uses. So hammer, 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 hammer the tent pegs in. I, hope, I think I've got a bottle opener on here. And yeah, very importantly, the bottle opener. You need to have that, you need to have the bottle opener. Um, and semi-sharp knives, I guess. But the bottle opener is very important. I'll put some links down below to where you can get some of these stuff. This is very cheap and very nice and warm. Oh, and in here we've got toiletries. I will, again, put some links down below. Um, but basically, uh, in this little bag, this is a micro fiber travel towel. So this is a full-size towel in here. A full-size towel? I don't believe you. So in here I keep, oh yeah, I've got some soap. Right, now this soap, I keep them in little uh, droplet thingy, eye drop, I don't know what, I can't remember the terminology. Little bottle like that. Uh, this is highly concentrated soap. Um, it's literally to shave is one drop or two drops. Uh, to clean yourself is, you know, very little as well. Um, you can wash clothes, wash your dishes, you can do all I mean, you can wash a t-shirt in one of these, in this stuff. Um, I'll leave a link below to what it is, it's Dr. Bronner's, and that's the lavender flavour. Um, oh yeah, uh, usual stuff, toothbrush, some floss, because usually you're having some meat at the barbecue, and then a microfiber towel, which is, look at the size of this. I'm not small, well I am, but you know, this is a big, it's a nice big towel, isn't it? And um, what's this towel used for? Well, usually it's used for drying yourself out if it's been raining and you climb into your tent, you change out of your wet clothes, climb into your tent, dry yourself off and change to some dry clothes. And I fold it in a way, so, I can also get my toiletries in the top. They all just fit in the top like that. Zip it up. Job done. It's a vented bag, so stuff shouldn't go uh, smelly or mouldy in there. If it was a little bit damp when you put it away. And that's just to keep everything waterproof in another little bag. So, my roll bag. This is a limo. I'll put a link below for the limo. But this is a very, very good uh, roll top. Um, you can adjust it, like it's, yeah, it's great. Um, this one is very old now. This is five years of use, strapped on the bike. Um, and I've got, I think it's starting to fade out, like it's not, the material's getting a bit thin in certain places, but this is after five years. So I will get another one I think next year. This one is, be all right for this trip, I hope. But I can see there's some light coming through. When I, when I look into it, there's some light coming in at the very bottom. Let's see if I can get this all in. You want to think about the order you put things in. So. I know that in this bag is going to be all my sleeping stuff. So I don't need to open this bag for any other reason. Um, there's no other reason for me to open this bag. Uh, it's only when I'm going to be setting up camp. So in the bottom here, 
is a sleeping bag, because that's the last thing you need. You, the first thing you want to take out is probably your tent, to be honest. Because your tent needs to come out first, especially if it's raining. Right. You've got to make sure you don't put anything sharp or uncomfortable on the bike because it's probably going to be up against your back because this will sit on my back seat. So I want to keep this as small as possible and as far back as possible so it doesn't actually upset me. So that's a sleeping bag, that's my tent. It's a little bit, a little bit taller than I'd hope but it's, I think it'll be all right. You don't want to make it too tight and you don't want to make it too impossible. Because remember, you have to redo this probably on a morning when you're hungover and you can't do it. Aha, there we go. Then I simply can roll the bag up. And clip. And then this will go on the back seat of my bike. It's not too heavy. There's on the back seat of the bike. A couple of rock straps over the top. Crisscross style, always crisscross your rock straps. That way is okay, but crisscross is better. So I've got all this, I've actually got some space here. I can feel lots of space there. It's a shame that I've got a lot of long things in here, because otherwise I could have packed it down a bit nicer. But, so there's a big space here, there is. My thermals, just in case it gets cold. That's my gear I like to take. And this should keep you warm at night, and it'll keep me dry. Always make sure you get a tent, especially if you're camping in England, make sure you get a tent with very high water resistant thingies. Now there's some really nice ones I've seen around, which are fantastic, but the waterproofness level wouldn't hold for maybe half an hour or so. Eventually it will come in. Right, on to the cooking setup. Right, so, cooking stuff. I'm missing bits. <laughs> cooking stuff. So, I don't have anywhere to mount this on the uh, BMW, but, uh, CRF, but I do have these on the BMW. Um, this is a fuel bottle for my cooker and a very handy lighter. That will go, I'm putting everything in the top box just off screen here. And um, there's going to be a lot of empty space because I'm probably going to have to take some things out the roll bag and put them in here. But anyway, let's go through some of my cooking stuff. So, if I was going solo, I'd bring my Tangier Mini. But I'm not. I'm going with people and we want to have stuff in a timely fashion, many of us. So I'm bringing my big Tangier. This is very old now. This is well, not very old, but it's... it's, it's it's been through a lot, this thing has. So I like this because you've got the whole setup and stuff. Cat didn't like that, obviously. And this is the big one. Plenty of videos on the big one online. Maybe I'll do a review on this one later. So, okay, this is easy. There are my clothes. Trousers, uh, t-shirt, undergarments. That's all I need. Um, I might not even use them, but that's my pillow as well, can be sometimes, so I usually fluff it up and put my pillow in there, or that's my pillow, but that sits at the bottom of my um, thing to quieten down rattling and stuff. Um, taking my Trangia cooker, oh yeah, that's the chopping board, not included with the actual Trangia cooking kit, you need to buy that extra, but it's a chopping board slash drainer um, for when you're doing pasta and rice and stuff like that, which is very handy which is what I did all the time. Trangia goes in there. This is um, a microfiber towel, but I actually use it to um, dry up my dishes and dry up my, um, my pots and pans and stuff after I finish cooking. Right, now, uh, I normally, well, when I'm going to, I usually go to rallies and stuff, um, or from doing a big group events, I usually take shot glasses with me and I usually have a bottle of vodka and anyone who passes by the tent or something like that, 
I, uh, I have one ready. I said, oh, you've asked my tent. You have to do a shot. So yeah, um, depending on people walk past my tent, depends how drunk I get. But you know, I do like to offer a shot. Well, anyway, as we're going away, I usually bring, oh yeah, of course, my one. My extra shot glasses are actually um, metal, so you can reuse them. I don't like plastic ones really, um, but yeah, I prefer metal ones. So these are Russian mule shot glasses. Nice 50 mil shot in there, of vodka. Um, so I will, uh, and also when you do uh, Nastrovie or Nastrovie or Shep Canal uh, or wherever you're from, um, you got a little, oh, doesn't make the same ching noise, but you know. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted to find. Little bag with a sponge. Let me just check how moldy the sponge is. I haven't got this out for a while. But it's not mouldy. Might get a new one. But anyway, I always put that in a drawstring bag. And then I, uh, have, if it's wet, I'll leave it on outside of the motorbike and let it um, flap around a bit. But it usually dries out, depending if it's wet, wet or not. Little chopper. Little knife. Quite a sharp one that is. Very nice little uh, knife. I'll probably put some links below, like I said, um, for stuff like this. I've got this gridded system, and I've got it all tooled up now with everything, sort of thing. Um, cutlery, a knife, a can opener. That Inside there, there's a little bottle of oil, and I've double bagged it because oil can get messy. So I've got a little bit of cooking oil there, lighter for my thing, and a pair of tongs for doing bacon and stuff. Very uh, simple kit. Um, why do I have a full size set of tongs, I guess you could say? Um, go with what you know. The same tools you use at home, I use on the road, so I prefer full size. I can't find my spatula, so I'm just going to take that probably on the day and slide it in there if I've got um, one that will fit from home. Maybe I'll just cut the handle off or something. So it is almost full size. Some sort of spatula would be good. Then I'm going to take my full size Trangier over the small one. Um, a bit better this is. Um, in this little container here I've got a sponge um, and some washing up liquid in a little bottle and uh, what's all this clinking around? Well that's my shot glasses so you know. I've got a cleaning cloth here. Oh yes, a uh, coffee cup, very important. This is a thermal, thermal one. Um, cameras and stuff? Well, helmet camera lives on the helmet all the time. Maybe in the night I'll take it off the helmet and bring it into the tent and charge it or something, but the helmet camera lives on the thing. Spare battery will be in here. Um, I have a spare battery maybe in my pocket of my jacket. Uh, my other camera will be in my pocket of the jacket. Um, there's no point in putting cameras in the bag or in a, in a box or something. Your camera should be close to hand at all times. Uh, if it's buried in a bag you're not going to get out and use it. You're going to have to stop and get out and use it. Um, so yeah, that's why I like to have my stuff, cameras and stuff need to be physically on my person. Um, spare gloves and stuff like that will go in my jacket in the back bit. Um, and I don't need a backpack. Uh, water, snacks and stuff will go in the back box as well, so when we stop, I open it up and it's right there. Easy as anything really. Actually, there is one more thing I need to put in here. Tools. I've got some tools on the bike, but I do need to actually put a small selection of tools in here. Um, first aid kit, I always have a first aid kit, because unfortunately the time I don't bring it, is the time I need it. So I always bring a first aid kit. Uh, tools, the usual bit set. Take some tools with me, just take at least the minimum stuff, um, which is what I'm going to go for. The minimum kit, puncture repair kit, um, bit set. The, the rest of the tools are on the bike for taking the wheels off, that sort of thing. So look, I guess camping and packing your bike and everything like that, if you've got it, you'll fill it, that's the problem. Um, I try not to take a backpack with me, or if I do, it will be basically empty. If I do have a backpack with me, it is going to be pretty much empty. The only thing that it would be there for is to put shopping in at the end of the day, or to carry the very bare nothingness, basically. Oh, one thing I do like to carry sometimes, I'm probably going to change this out for a plastic one. This is a... Uh, when I picked up in uh, Austria. Shopping bag. 
because um, you will need to do some shopping at some point if you're doing camping and uh, less and less places stock plastic bags which is a shame because we use them but that folds down to basically nothing weighs nothing goes in the bag goes in the thing and then I can shop and this one I like this one because you can wear it round like that you can carry your shopping as you ride absolutely fine there's a limit to how much weight you can get in there I wouldn't be able to get a crate of beer, but it will hold a bottle of vodka and a load of snacks and um, burger buns and all that sort of thing, no problem. So look, I could go on and on about camping gear but it and bike gear. It changes from bike to bike, person to person, preferences to preferences, um, how much money you've got. If you've got the money, you'll buy more expensive, better gear than what I've got or... Uh, if you've got less money you'll buy cheaper gear or something like that or if you're not massively into camping you won't have all this amazing gear you'll just have the basic stuff um, but this is I guess my setup um, I travelled with a little bit more um, when I went around Europe I took winter gear and summer gear with me and uh, I needed it so it was handy but that's an extra basically an extra roll bag essentially with just summer gear uh, with just summer and winter gear in uh, which was a bit of, but it wasn't heavy, but it was just an extra big bit of fat. But on the BMW, it's fine. CRF, maybe I wouldn't be able to do that. Not enough space. I'd have to get some pannier racks and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's not not a massive difference. If I was travelling longer, it'd be a little bit more clothes. But that's about it, really. Um, be a smaller, smaller one of these, smaller cooker. And that's it. I, yeah, I could go on forever. It would be bike to bike, person to person, everyone's different. I would just thought I'd share mine. If you've got any suggestions or anything like that on how I'm packing or certain things, then yeah, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll put some links below of what I recommend that everyone can use, but only items that everyone can use. Um, yeah, if I was going longer, I'd take a bit more tools and a bit less of this and yeah, so. <sighs> yeah, it could, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Like I said, I could go on forever. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting. And hopefully I've encouraged you to do some more camping this year. Or if, I mean, yeah, it's not really... Or next year. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.